Southwest Indiana Regional Development Authority was established in 2005 by the state of Indiana to be a catalyst to transform the economy and quality of life in Northwest Indiana. Funded through a combination of local and state contributions, the RDA is leading an ambitious program to address economic development and regional transportation and to leverage the region's most powerful asset, the Lake Michigan shoreline. The RDA has invested more than $210 million in the communities of Gary, Whiting, Portage, Burns Harbor, East Chicago, Valparaiso, Merrillville, Hammond, and Porter. This investment has directly leveraged more than $540 million in additional local, federal, and private funds. Overall, the RDA's projects in Northwest Indiana have created or supported more than 2,000 permanent and construction jobs and had a total economic impact of more than $1.1 billion. At Wolf Lake and Hammond, the RDA has partnered with the city on the Wolf Lake Pavilion, a new aquatic center on a former brownfield site and improvements to Forsyth Park. This $54 million investment has created both full-time and part-time jobs, expanded recreational opportunities, and set the stage for commercial development. One example is the proposed commercial corridor from Lake Michigan to Wolf Lake along Indianapolis Boulevard. Marina patrons and area residents will be able to walk or bike there, making it an attractive business location that wouldn't have been possible without the partnership between the city and the RDA. The $4 million George Lake pedestrian bridge between Hammond and Whiting is symbolic of the RDA's commitment to bring communities together. Opened in 2012, the bridge allows residents of both cities easy access to each other's new attractions, such as Whiting's new Lakefront Park. The $22 million Lakefront Park project spurred the city's investment in Oil City Stadium, now home to the Northwest Indiana Oilmen, as well as two full-time and 30 part-time jobs. The Lakefront project has also stimulated private investment, including four new restaurants and a $12 million VP training center. Investors have approached the city regarding expanding the business district and a public-private partnership has been established to develop Whiting as a year-round lakefront destination. Linked with RDA efforts in Hammond and the connectivity of the bike path network, the synergy of both Southern Shore communities will drive their economies going forward. Neighboring East Chicago is also getting into the act. The city partnered with the RDA on a new state-of-the-art $60 million water filtration plant, which will free up 10 acres of prime land at the city marina for economic development. The RDA also provided matching funds for community redevelopment near the harbor. Further east along the shoreline is one of Northwest Indiana's hidden gems, Marquette Park, nestled in a restored oak savanna in Gary's Miller Beach neighborhood. Marquette Park has been revived with the aid of $28 million in RDA funds. Chief among the improvements are the Marquette Park Pavilion, which is now hosting weddings and other events, and the reopening of the long-shuttered Bathing Beach Aquatorium. Other work included restoration of the Father Marquette statue, improvements to two parking lots, and dredging of the Park Lagoon funded by a $1 million EPA grant attracted by the RDA's investment. The Gary Chicago International Airport is the centerpiece of the RDA's transportation initiatives in Northwest Indiana. The $166 million project to extend the airport's main runway will allow the airport to reach its full potential as an economic engine for the region. Extending the runway has been a complex, multi-year project involving numerous private businesses, four railroads, the city of Gary, the Federal Aviation Administration, the Indiana Department of Transportation, the RDA, and others. In addition to providing $50 million for the runway extension, the RDA has also funded a strategic business plan by aviation experts Landrum and Brown that lays out a path for success for the airport once the extension is complete. In Merrillville, the RDA also provided $2 million as part of a package of local, regional, and state incentives that secured a $17 million investment by Modern Forge. The company is expanding an existing building to create a state-of-the-art forging facility, which will employ an estimated 240 people by 2014. The RDA also provided incentives for its $141 million expansion of the Kirkyard in Gary, a project that has already created more than 80 new jobs. Connecting Northwest Indiana residents to jobs in Chicago is critical to Northwest Indiana's economy, 
So the RDA partnered with the city of Valparaiso on its Chicago Dash bus project, providing $1.8 million to expand parking and station facilities to meet the strong demand for bus service into Chicago. Valpo's Chicago Dash service now operates three buses carrying full loads of passengers into and out of Chicago every day and is seeking funding to add a fourth vehicle. One of the RDA's earliest successes is the Riverwalk and Lakefront Park in Portage. Located across from an active steel plant, the park was previously a contaminated industrial site. Now a lush expanse of dunes leading to an idyllic beachfront and a LEED Gold Certified Event Facility, the park played an important role in attracting solar converter Fronius to locate in the nearby Ameriplex business complex. Company executives said the park would provide a location for employees to relax during the workday and was one of the reasons they chose to locate in the region. As part of the RDA-funded $19 million Gateway to the Dunes project, the town of Porter extended an existing Indiana Department of Transportation plan to rebuild the Indiana 49 bridges over US 12 and 20. The new bridges feature design elements that will be carried throughout the corridor upgrade as well as a 10-foot bike and walking path separated by a barrier wall. The town credits the Gateway project now in phase two with attracting more than $10 million in public and private funds for tourism development. The RDA helped the Northern Indiana Commuter Transportation District purchase new bi-level train cars using a $17 million matching grant. The RDA continues to work with NICTI and other mass transit operators throughout Northwest Indiana to develop both a regional transit network for all of Northwest Indiana and increased commuter transit opportunities into Chicago. RDA investments in Northwest Indiana have already had a huge multiplier effect with a total of $1.1 billion in direct, indirect, and induced economic activity, RDA investments have returned $5.11 for every $1 of public money spent since 2006. And that considers only this initial construction phase. Investments in the Northwest Indiana Lakeshore, commuter transportation systems, and the Gary Chicago International Airport represent living, catalytic investments which will continue to generate a return for decades to come. The work of the Regional Development Authority has only just begun, and the myriad benefits are already apparent. Now we must continue that momentum, build on that $1.1 billion in economic impact, and accelerate the transformational change of Northwest Indiana from a relic of the industrial age to a vibrant region of opportunity and prosperity on the shores of the Great Lakes.